My name is Annie Kirkpatrick. Um, I work at Northwestern Mutual. Basically, I own my own financial services, financial planning business under the umbrella of Northwestern Mutual. A typical day for me is basically just going out and meeting with clients, prospective clients, old clients, and really just helping them with their financial planning, really getting to know them and helping them um, achieve their goals. There's a lot less women as financial representatives and financial advisors in my business. It tends to be a pretty male dominated in my field. Um, the more of the women in my, in my office are the assistants or the people in the kind of the office type role. So office managers and assistants rather than actually doing the financial advising but there are a few women like me who actually do the financial advising. I def I've definitely noticed kind of a difference when trying to attain clients as a female. Um, people that don't really know me, they ask a lot more questions and really it, I have to prove myself a little bit more rather than being a male, especially when I'm talking to male clients. Um, I have to connect on a little bit of a different level. I can't call them up and say, oh, hey, what's up, dude? It's a little bit different and also, I notice I have to change the tone of my voice a little bit. I can't have that girly tone in my voice. I've had a couple mentors tell me that to just kind of make sure I'm talking in a more professional tone, which is just an interesting kind of dynamic between me and male clients. I actually was calling a lawyer here in Boulder and it was a f referral from a family friend and immediately as soon as I picked up the phone and called him it was very evident that he was not very interested in talking to me and he just kind of wrote me off like I was a Girl Scout or something not that I was a financial advisor and a woman and that I could hold that role. It happens I think kind of with just the older generation having that kind of shape shift in their mind to seeing young, us younger generation and also us younger females having that professional role. I definitely notice that a, lo a lot less with younger males. Uh, younger males, I think we're kind of grown up in this more equal realm where men and women are kind of put on an equal playing field. Um, so I think the younger males tend to take me a little bit more seriously. And I think I also can tell that a little bit in the workplace as well in my office. The younger males I'm around are not, I wouldn't say more respectful, but they also, I think they kind of think of me more as a peer rather than the older males who, even if they've been in the business for just as long as me, they might kind of write me off a little bit. Most of the women that I've talked to have a lot of like a go get them girl attitude and really kind of pushing me and like wanting to support me. But, but I've, I've seen that a lot. And I think that comes from the fact that they're trying to do the same thing. A lot of females are trying to succeed and do push the boundaries and be professional women themselves. So when I call them and I try and recruit them as clients, then they feel like, oh, this girl is gonna go be successful. I wanna help her be successful and then she can help me be successful. And there's kind of that mutual appreciation there. Yeah, the guys are definitely super friendly with me. Um, they are very supportive. They. Um, help me out a lot if I have questions or anything and um, do talk to me about certain things and we, we definitely talk and connect. I think it's just there's certain things that they talk about that is more the bro talk that I'm not necessarily involved in and then there's more the, the things that we talk about. I think if I did try and insert myself into the bro talk, they would let me. I just don't know how awkward or how, how well I would feel about that. It's, I think that's more of a personal choice for me. I think I'd probably stay away from the bro talk and then just kind of go interact on a different level with them. So I don't think they, they would exclude me if I tried. I think it's kind of just not really what I, what I want to interact with them on that level. And um, I think that gender in the workplace is always going to be an, a topic that we talk about, um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. It's just kind of a dynamic and I love where I work and I love everything about it.